No mad the nomadic. Hey YouTube, how's it going? Nomadic's back, episode number two. Today we're going to be talking about software for the FPC 1000. And this is a pretty important discussion because uh, there are a few different operating systems that you can get for the FPC 1000. Um, the stock operating system that comes with it is Akai OS. That's, that's the operating system that Akai makes for the FPC 1000. However, there is another uh, third party operating system. It's called JJOS. And that's what it is. It's not made by Akai by some guy in Japan. I don't even know who he is. Nobody knows who he is. But um, this operating system is astounding. It's great. It is probably like, it, it, it takes the MPC-1000 and, and like picks up its level like this much. It makes it really powerful. Um, so I highly recommend you get JJOS. That's actually what I'm using right now. <clears throat> um, the only thing though is that there are a lot of different types of JJOS. Um, he's made OS 1, he's made OS 2, he's made a bunch of different ones. But the one that I'm using and the one that I'm going to be, um, I guess, explaining how to do features in, in the future videos that I'm going to be releasing, is on what's called JJOS 2 XL. Now, JJOS 2 XL is the flagship operating system that he's created, um, and he's still even updating it today, even though the MPC 1000 came out, uh, say, like six years ago. He's still updating it. Honestly, he's he's even on OS three. Like he's he just keeps going with the operating systems. But um, yeah, I highly recommend you get OS two XL. Honestly, it's an investment that you need to get if you're serious about making beats because it just it literally just takes the MPC and competes it with the MPC twenty five hundred. It literally takes both of these and just puts them at the same level. That's how much better it'll make your MPC. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you get it. That's the one that I use right now. Uh, it's a little bit complicated for you know the other operating systems that have been made for the MPC 1000, but you know I'll be explaining it and hopefully you know it'll, it'll just it'll make it make a lot more sense. So the thing with uh, JJ OS 2 XL and with any of the JJ OS operating systems is that if you're not ready to buy it, it's okay. You can still try it out. You can still install it on your MPC 1000. The only thing that you can't do is save. So basically, you can mess around with it. You can still install it on your MPC 1000. Even if you're not ready to buy an operating system, you can still follow along with the videos, but you just won't be able to save your project. So hopefully that'll help uh, if you're still trying to learn how to use the MPC 1000. So today's episode was pretty short, you know, there really wasn't really much to show, much to talk about. But, you know, future videos will be more in-depth. They'll probably be around five, six minutes long. So in the next episode, we're going to actually get started on the MPC with uh, JJOS 2 XL, uh, starting out with uh, loading and saving samples, which is pretty important. So see you next week.